hi everyone till now we discuss how to build an id3 decision tree when we have an attribute set or a feature set which is categorical in nature and by that we mean the feature set could be either ordinal nominal or binary but we never discussed how to handle the features which are numerical in nature for instance the age of an individual the temperature of a particular location the distance between two points uh, which could act as a feature and so on in this video we will be discussing how to apply information gain to such numerical attributes let's consider a small numerical example for demonstration purpose and in this example the feature f1 which we see over here is the numerical attribute which we are talking about and if you see the type of values which are present in the column f1 all are continuous in nature and if i see the target column over here uh, it has only two values 0 and 1 and like before it is a binary classification problem now we will try to see how we can apply information gain on such type of data so the first step is to arrange the distinct values present in attribute f1 in an ascending order the next step is the split point determination where a split point corresponds to the midpoint between the two successive values which were arranged in the ascending order in step one for instance if we consider this value 7.5 it came because we considered uh, this value 7 and 8 the midpoint of 7 and 8 is 7.5 uh, now the split point of 9 came because we considered 8 and 10 and the midpoint corresponding to 8 and 10 is 9 likewise if we consider the values 10 and 13 we get the midpoint 11.5 13 and 22 will give me the midpoint 17.5 22 and 25 will give me the midpoint 23.5 25 and 33 will give me the midpoint 29 and eventually 33 and 45 will give me the midpoint 39 so these are all the split points which we have obtained and these will form the base for splitting decisions now since we will be using information gain for splitting f1 we need to find the entropy corresponding to the parent node and if we consider the target column we can see that probability of 0 is clearly half which is 4 by 8 and this is exactly the same as probability 1 now if we refer to the video before like the part 3 of this video we actually proved that the entropy is highest in case of an m class classification problem when the probability of occurrence of each of the classes 1 by m now here we have a binary classification problem and the probability of occurrence of 1 and 0 is identical which is 1 by 2 in a binary classification we have two classes so we have the uh, ultimate case where the entropy is highest the bounds of entropy is between 0 and 1 the highest value which the entropy can take is 1 so we can say that uh, the value of entropy is equivalent to 1 entropy corresponding to the parent node now if you actually want to calculate uh, the entropy corresponding to the parent node you can uh, do that by following the formula p0 log to the base 2 p0 uh, minus p1 log to the base 2 p1 and if we plug in the values of p0 and p1 as equivalent to half we are ideally going to get the entropy equivalent to 1 only for the parent node so till now we were able to compute both step 1 and step 2 and we were also able to calculate the entropy corresponding to the parent node which will actually be helpful if we consider information gain for splitting f1 after the conclusion of step 2 we were able to obtain some split points now we will see how we are going to use these split points for calculating information gain so the split points obtained from step 2 are used over here so we consider each individual split point as a basis for taking a decision like we consider a split point as 7.5 and on the basis of that we can take two decisions whether feature 1 is less than equal to 7.5 or feature 1 is greater than 7.5 likewise if i consider any random uh, split point like 17.5 on the basis of it feature 1 can be either less than 17.5 
or it can be greater than 17.5 now everything is at proper place over here just we need to fill it and how we need to fill it we will be starting with this particular column nt by n so we will be starting with it let's consider 7.5 only uh, the splitting point we can see that um, the number of feature values which are less than equal to 7.5 is just one um, nt corresponds to the over here this uh, term nt corresponds to the number of uh, values in f1 which adhere to this uh, decision and we can see only one data following this decision which is which will mean that nt by n is equivalent to 1 upon 8 and because there are eight observations capital n is the number of observations and for f1 greater than 7.5 there are seven observations so clearly seven observations divided by eight this is what nt by n is and out of those one observation which we can see following this decision how many are uh, what is the probability of getting a zero so it's one because there is only one observation which is zero and probability of getting one is completely zero because one observation was zero only and probability of getting one for this is equivalent to four by seven and the probability of getting zero is equivalent to three by seven so we have both the probabilities now this is ideally the same problem which we had been solving since past two three videos we can calculate the entropy we have these values we can get the weighted entropy over here and based on the weighted entropy we know that the uh, entropy of the parent node is equivalent to one uh, that's why we are writing as one minus and this overall entropy which we get as a weighted entropy we will get we will impute it over here and we will get the final result of the information gain so after completion of table we get something like this so this is a split point and corresponding to split point 7.5 we get the overall entropy as 0.86 and the way to calculate entropy remains the same as before just that in the distinct value column uh, we just used to have the distinct value corresponding to the categorical variable but over here we have just the decisions which we need to take in case we have a numerical variable and this entropy is calculated in usual way as before and this is like minus 3 by 7 log to the base 2 3 by 7 minus 4 by 7 log to the base 2 4 by 7 and the weighted entropy came out to be 0 0.86 and the information gain is 1 minus 0 0.86 1 because um, the entropy corresponding to parent node was equal equivalent to 1 as we discussed before consequently we calculate the entropy corresponding to 9 which was again split point we calculate the entropy corresponding to 11.5 um, we calculate the entropy corresponding to 17.5 and so on we calculate the entropy corresponding to each and every split point which we got over here and now if we look carefully at this column information gain column um, we will try to find out the maximum information gain so the maximum information gain if you can see over here it corresponds to 101 which is present over here and the maximum information gain corresponds to the split point being equivalent to 17.5 so the decision tree formulation will look like this we consider f1 uh, it could be a root node or it could be an internal node so as of now since we have only one attribute to handle it could be considered a root node and if we have to take a decision we will take decision based on the two distinct values of f1 attained over here so f1 could be either less than equal to 17.5 or it could be greater than 17.5 if it is less than equal to 17.5 we can say a value of 0 is attained and if it is greater than 17.5 a value of 1 is attained now if you see this data uh, we can clearly see that this proposition holds um, all the values less than equal to 17.5 were 0 and all the values above 17.5 were equivalent to 1 so that concludes our discussion on how to create a decision tree when we have numerical attribute in the next video we will solve one numerical example having both categorical and numerical attributes
थैंक्स फॉर योर टाइम